हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड टू सिक्सटीन स्मार्टफोन शिपमेंट्स इन इंडिया फ्यू टू फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन यूनिट्स इन जुलाई सेप्टेम्बर पीरियड कम्पेयर टू फिफ्टी मिलियन इन द सेम पीरियड लास्ट ईयर शोमी स्टिल लेट द वे विद इलेवन पॉइंट टू मिलियन शिपमेंट्स फॉर द पीरियड फॉलोड बाई सैमसंग विद नाइन पॉइंट इलेवन मिलियन एंड देन वीवो विद एट पॉइंट वन मिलियन रियलमी टुक अप दोर्थ स्पॉट विद सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन शिपमेंट्स वाइल ओपो हैड सिक्स पॉइंट टू मिलियन टू राउंड आउट द टॉप फाइव None of the aforementioned brands saw the positive annual growth figures with the Xiaomi and Realme in particularly experiencing a 14 percentage of decline. Bitcoin value surged to its highest ever mark just a day after the first Bitcoin futures exchange traded fund was launched at the New York Stock Exchange. On Thursday, October 21st, the world's most valued cryptocurrency opened trading at 67,139 US dollars, that is roughly around rupees 50 lakhs 25,433 Indian rupees, which got a marginal gain of less than 1 percentage. The development comes like a breath of fresh air for the Bitcoin investors who saw the crypto coin experience major dips in recent times especially after september 15th when china criminalized and banned all crypto related activities Ola has officially revealed the dates when the test rides for its much anticipated scooters will begin. Ola will begin the test drive for the Ola S1 and S1 Pro from November 10th. EA Sports has banned over 30,000 FIFA 2022 players for abusing a glitch in last week FIFA Ultimate Team Champions. The exploit allowed players to easily get a perfect 20 to 0 win streak in FUT Champions. Players who used the glitch will be suspended from FIFA 2022 for 7 days, but they will still get to keep the rewards they earned with the glitch. Chinese smartphone brand Realme on Thursday said that it has appointed international cricketer KL Rahul as its brand ambassador. The cricketer will endorse its smartphone category, the company said it in a statement. Realme's partnership with the athlete reinstates its brand ideology of being youth oriented. Redmi Watch 2 launch is set for October 28th in China. This smartwatch will ship with a square dial, slightly curved edges and a physical button on the right for navigation. Redmi Watch 2 will be available in gold, black and blue color options. The Redmi Note 11 series of smartphones set for launch on October 28th in China. This series is set to feature three devices: Redmi Note 11, Redmi Note 11 Pro and Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. The color variants and the memory variants of the Redmi Note 11 Pro and Pro Plus variants have been surfaced. Sony is gearing up to introduce a new Xperia smartphone next Tuesday on October 26th. Sony went ahead and released a teaser video hyping up its upcoming launch. Next Sony PS5 pre-orders will go live in India on October 25th. Both standard and digital PS5 model will be available for the next pre-booking. The new stocks arrive in time for shopping season of Diwali. In September, Vivo unveiled Funtouch OS 12 based on Android 11 instead of Android 12. The latest version of the company's mobile operating system shipped with the newly launched Vivo X70 series. Just a month later, Vivo has now revealed its plan to update selected devices to Android 12 in India. Please check out the screen for the list of smartphones and the updated timeline to get released for Android 12 beta version. Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 and MediaTek Dimensity 2000 specifications have been leaked online. The Snapdragon 898 is expected to debut in December at the Qualcomm Summit. The MediaTek Dimensity 2000 is set to be based on TSMC's 4 nanometer manufacturing process. Motorola Moto G51 5G will succeed the Moto G50 5G. The device will likely to come with a full HD+ display. This smartphone will have a triple rear camera setup with a primary camera of 50 megapixel resolution. The current generation Motorola Edge series of smartphones comes with a feature called as Ready Fur. It allows users to connect their phones to a Windows PC or a monitor with an external display and a desktop UI. Users can have better multitasking and multimedia experience. Now according to FCC, the Lenovo owned company might soon release a dedicated hardware product for Ready Fur. Just after the Apple event introducing the new MacBook Pro models with M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, the first benchmark for the high-end M1 Max chip with 10 crore CPU and 32 core GPU appears have been surfaced. 
The chip features a single core score of 1749 and a multi core score of 11542, which offers double the multi core performance of the M1 chip that is in the 13 inch MacBook Pro machine. We should be seeing additional M1 Max and M1 Pro Geekbench results in the coming days as the new MacBook Pro models are expected to arrive to customers next Tuesday and media review units will be going out even sooner than that. Microsoft has added the Amazon App Store to Windows 11. Only beta Windows Insider users can test Android applications. There are as many as 50 Android applications available right now. HMD Global launches Nokia C30 in India at rupees 10,999. The Nokia C30 will be available in two variants: 3 GB RAM, 32 GB storage, and a 4 GB RAM and a 64 GB storage. The Nokia C30 is powered by a Unisoc chipset and a 6,000 mAh battery. PUBG developer Craft and are gearing up for the launch of its new game. PUBG New State will release later this year in selected markets worldwide. This upcoming Battle Royale is rumored to release in India in November, and this game is also set to release globally on the same date. While Craft and is set to announce the official launch date at the time of writing this. Supporting the leaked date is a video. The video was uploaded by Twitter account PUBG New State and has revealed some clips of the upcoming trailer. Wing is a subsidiary of Google parent company Alphabet. It has recently announced that it will be bringing its drone delivery service to the Texas city of Dallas. This marks the first densely populated market that is launching its service in Donald Trump's social network platform Truth Social will stand up to the oppression of big tech firms in the US. Selected invited guests will be able to try out the social networking application starting next month. Truth Social will roll out publicly in the first quarter of 2022. First image of the India's fastest electric car was Rani along in 2018 at the Goodwood Festival Vazrani Automotive took the wheels of the shell concept now in 2021 the home ground brand is ready to showcase another India made sports car this time around we do have some exclusive information on our hands to share about this forthcoming India made electric sport car named as Egong it will be unveiled on October 25th and is been tested on the newly laid out Natrax facility in Indore Madhya Pradesh and the company Company is also claiming that the Econ will be the India's fastest car. In fact, it will be the lightest electric vehicle ever made. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.